hey what's up guys hope y'all are good uh today's video i'm going to be talking about mabele versus uh maze right i think uh, this is a very important discussion because we consume lots and lots and lots of maize and there are a few interesting things that i think we should know around maize and around mabele that might push you to make a different decision when it comes to which of the two you consume so the first thing i think we need to consider when uh, starting this uh, competition between the two grains is considering where each grain originally comes from right maize is originally from mexico so for those that don't know maize is not uh, originally an african grain so it's originally from mexico and it arrived in south africa in 1655 and then uh, it was obviously pushed forward as the main grain and the main staple but prior to that the natives were eating sorghum right sorghum on the other hand is native to africa uh, there are many types of sorghum grains and it's found across various areas within the african space and yeah it's a grain that our ancestors have been eating for the longest time but now we've been shifted from that to the more commercialized maize well obviously the reason behind that is the fact that maize can be genetically modified and it can basically be mass produced and mass milled to meet the needs of the masses but we all know mass production never has our best interests at heart in that they'll always be feeding us uh, sub subpar foods or inferior foods if i can put it like that for the sake of financial profits between 70 and 80 percent of the maize we consume in south africa is genetically modified that is a huge huge problem it basically means that all the maize that we're eating is genetically modified maize and what are some of the dangers around consuming genetically modified foods I'm gonna list some right now. So some of the health risks of consuming genetically modified foods include infertility, uh, immune problems, accelerated aging, uh, problematic insulin regulation, so diabetes, etc., uh, stomach problems, reduction in digestive enzymes. So those are all issues that we are commonly seeing within the current lifestyle and lifestyle related ailments right diabetes etc those are pushing forward and we're seeing more and more people dealing with those and funny enough we're consuming so much of this gmo foods and gmo modified foods right so that's the main reason why you shouldn't eat maize then secondly uh, the second main reason is the issue of fortification all right so fortification uh, they basically, in the process of milling the maize and giving it a long shelf life, uh, which makes it uh, have this white color. Obviously, we know milled maize is actually supposed to be yellow, but they then run it through a process for preservation, which then makes it white. But in that process, it strips the maize of all its nutritional value, right? And what do they then do? Uh, they then fortify it. So fortification is basically the process of artificially adding nutrients and vitamins to the product itself. Why? Because the product is said to have no nutritional value. So why are we consuming it in the first place if it has no nutritional value? And why are we allowing them to basically say they'll add nutrition to it? Isn't it supposed to be right from the onset? So this is the main reason why we should stay away from maize. Sorghum, on the other hand, is native to Africa. It's a grain that has been around for centuries and our ancestors lived off it. Uh, it's a grain that's packed in fiber. It's a grain that's packed in protein. It's a grain that has higher nutritional value than most grains out on the market and it's a grain that's prime for the african condition why because obviously we deal with arid dryness in certain areas and it's a grain that can grow in those sort of areas right so sorghum as an alternative to consuming maize or bob is a key 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 shift one can make towards leading a healthier lifestyle why because 
This grain is native to Africa. It's mostly non-GMO. That's also very important, right? Mostly non-GMO as opposed to maize. Obviously, maize is a mass-produced product and these corporations want to make massive finance from the actual product itself. So, if I were you, I'd choose sorghum over maize. Definitely. Sorghum over maize. There are many ways you can consume sorghum. Uh, porridge. Baba uh, Just as we do now with uh, the current maize. So any way where you use maize, you could potentially uh, alternate with sorghum. 